I just wish you guys would stop the quibbling. So when does Tua take Bill Belichick trick or treating? Because that's what you do with your kids. Does, <laughs> does Tua just come on, Billy? Is he, is he the only uh, quarterback with six wins against? I think he is. Yeah, because yeah. they were a lot tied at five. Yeah, they were a lot tied at five. Come on, Billy, let's go. Don't be afraid. You like you to away to the end of the uh, at the end of the driveway. Now, he like ends at the ends at the at the one. Go 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 go. It's okay. You can ring the. I'm daddy's right here. I'm right here, Billy. Ring the bell. Can I ask a question? Do you want to know what Bill Belichick went for Halloween as? What? A good football coach. <laughs> Daddy loves you guys. Dude sucks. Okay. Bum. 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 I know you love him, but Play, bum. Players bum. suck. He sucks. They are slow. Who picked him? Who picked him? Okay. Who picked him? Not so. Belichick, the GM, really... hasn't been good in a long time. <laughs> but but here's here's my question. The guys that won five straight, does it carry more weight because Tom Brady was on that team? Hmm? You understand what I'm saying? Which guys? Whoever was before, there's like three other guys that won five times. Oh, now you're trying to. Now I you're, don't know if it was against. You're doing a Bam was right on, on no, Tua's win streak. No, no, undefeated no, 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 no. is undefeated. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just. I just asked the question. That's a That's question. It. Okay. Let's get with the time. Really? You, you, you don't think it matters that somebody won five straight against. You the win, greatest. You win. I thought okay. he was the genius. Okay. I thought you said that nobody goes up against the quarterback. I thought it was uh, mm-hmm. offense versus defense. Now all of a sudden you're Mr. No, quarterback no, no. versus um, quarterback guy. I asked the question. Bad question. Okay. You're a hey, Levo, stop you're a buffoon. Exactly. I'm not a buffoon. You're, you're a buffoon. Th- it's just funny how all of a sudden now you care about quarterback versus no, quarterback. We, we do that with everything, though. Mm. Well, we didn't have this guy. We didn't have that guy. We didn't do this. So I just asked. Go ahead, Billy. Ring the bell. Do it. I don't, know, I don't want to ring the bell. Ring it. Come on. Daddy loves you guys. Pinches his cheeks. Halloween is tomorrow, Marcos. How'd you know it was me? Oh, man. Damn it. Maybe because it's been the same Halloween bit for the last three years. Well, and, 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 and the empty chair chatted us up. Who? The empty chair. Oh. oh. Yeah. Her, oh. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah, where's she at today? Is she put it she, on like wait, witchcraft on birds. Like, she, what's the deal with her? She need to be doing some crunches or something so she can fit in that starfish. Oh, is man. it small? Oh no, is it? From- no, it, tonight is is between J Fig and Tobes. Mm, I'm not. I'm confident. Who are they so, playing? The the the, uh, the Raiders. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Brian so, Hoyer. Easy so, cover. So the the um, so if the Raiders win. You lose. Uh, no, we're tied. Oh, so you got to pick the points of the game. Um, Total. No, I think we said player props. Okay, player props. But how you gonna, you going to pick the same player prop? No. How are you going to figure it out? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. The same way we figured out last week we'd do four games. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not. <sighs> I am not JFig. She says you're fat shaming, just so I'm we're not. Clear. Which, I'm by not. the way, you were doing that again yesterday to, to Bradley Chubb, and I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. The guy's been a monster. By the way, can last we, can, couple of days. Can we get up? No, 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 no not the last couple of days. The guy's been a monster. He's had a really good season. Yeah, he's had a good season. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not the one. Hold on. You can use a couple. You are. Months. You You've are. Been fat shaming no, 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 no. You've been fat shaming. I'm not the one mm-hmm. who said he's leading the league in almost sacks. Not me. Who said that? He did. Huh? I, mean, I haven't been on Chubb all year. Okay. Uh, Only five sacks this year. Jeez. Yeah. That's I not mean, good. Five five sacks. That be, that's, that's five like, sacks in eight games. That's top that's ten. Pretty that's pretty good. Pretty good. That's good. It's okay for you. Wilkins doing good too. How about huh? this Jalen Ramsey, huh? Woo! He's good. Game changer. Uh, he's good. Place. He was stalking on that pick. He was oh, like, yeah. should have had a forced fumble though. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Should have had a forced fumble. The the, the the holding erased it. So that guy, hey, he's good. He makes that impact known. And they didn't even have Xavier Howard yesterday. Now, or Javon. In that one, you could say, hey, Mac Jones sucks. Anybody could have caught that. But you want to know something? It was Jalen Ramsey. He was there. He was yep. deacon him. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Uh, I mean, it was a good game. Like, I can't, like, it. one of the things that I'm most impressed with with this team is, is there's been several opportunities for this team to lose it in the last two years, right? Either a bad loss, a string of losses, or whatever. 
and they don't. They stay the course, and and that's the sign of good leadership. Uh, they did last year. I mean, they had a bad losing streak last no, year. No, they had a bad losing streak, but what I'm saying is they didn't lose it. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, losing streak sucks. But if you ask any of them, yeah, we hate losing, and this sucks, but we're going to stay the course. There were no players getting, you know, yes, how every players time, do. Every time there's usually a bad mistake, they bounce back in a big way. Right, right. So, so that that is – the sign of, you know, everybody being together, um, that'll carry uh, in the long haul when you get in those tough situations in December and January. And and so I'm I'm excited to see. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say there won't be a five-game losing streak this year. Uh, hard to believe that would be the case. Right. It, it, it's just um, the, the offensive line, I mean, holding up. Like literally being put together right. duct tape and glue. Right, right. That and keep in mind, a lot of the same guys we call bums are now toting the load. Did Robert Hunt come back? Because I was at flag football too. I was I was scared <laughs> when I saw him come down. I know Lamb came back. Did did Hunt ever come back? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think he did actually. I don't think he did, but yeah. I the I, I remember them showing Kendall Lamb. I was like, oh good, Kendall Lamb's back. And Kendall yeah. Lamb's the backup left tackle. I'm I just saw... happy that the backup was back. I saw Liam Eikenberg, uh, but it was a defensive holding. And I was like, what? I know. I saw that, too. I didn't even know there was a thing. He got ragdolled so back to, no. so badly they, they called it on you, the defender. You know what they do? Here, here's what the D-line does. This is this is big in 4-3 defenses where they just want a wall, right? They don't really penetrate. They just stand up and look. So when you try to team block to the second level, the down lineman will grab the guy coming to help so he can't get off on the linebacker, and the linebacker goes and makes the play. Mm. Very rarely called, right, unless unless it's just blatant or you complain about it before the game. And so these are some of the tactics of the defensive lineman. When you're getting double teamed or team block up to the second level, you grab the other guy so you free up one of your guys. Did you see how fast Tyreek Hill ran after he got the touchdown? Yeah, like it was a blur. Like he ran faster to get back to the bench than he did running for that touchdown. It was incredible. Right. Was that to uh, avoid any more fines? Yeah, he said he's sick of getting. He said that after the game yesterday. He said he's sick of it. Yeah. We can play that sound coming up a little bit later. But uh, yeah, he's sick of it. He's sick of getting fined. Even uh, two as Tyreek is one to do. Uh, a couple weeks after saying I don't care about the money, this is about uh, having fun. He now has decided I'm sick of getting fined. So I don't know how high those fines were getting because it's it's like it, it escalates, yeah. Yes. So, so probably got to a so number. So let's like, let's see. The first football I threw in the stands was fifteen hundred. The second one, twenty five hundred, then seventy five hundred. It got for me. It got all the way up to fifteen grand. Jeez. But everybody on the team gave me the money. That's nice. Because they said, if you don't, if you score and you don't throw it in the stands, that's bad mojo. I said, but bad mojo is also when I play NFL football and go broke for paying stupid fines, trying to lose, not to lose team mojo. And they said, don't worry about the fines. So it was actually kind of cool because cash yeah absolutely straight cash uh dr emulix says that ref was juiced to the gills i know we got like a new ed hockley really that guy was swole as young hell. hockley isn't built like his dad no this no. is i don't know what that guy's name was but they mentioned it immediately uh spiro Didis mentioned uh how swole he was and i was like it was kind of hard for me to tell because again i was at flag football so i had to watch all of it up until the fourth quarter on a phone i was like eh. but then i got to the fourth quarter and i was on my tv i was like whoa so so wait so Did you spend any time with your family? <laughs> because you, you are pretty much catching us up on all the sports that were going on during your birthday activities. Flag football wasn't a birthday activity. Okay. I told you. Mm -hmm. Don't text us during the concert. Right. It lasted two seconds. And then you had the audacity to send pictures. Of the concert? Yeah, you were pretty close, too. I had great seats. Ooh, you were close. I had great seats. Kiss Country, TC, Dina B, they hooked it up. And so, um, and then on Saturday, right, text throughout the day, 
I'm like, aren't you supposed to be eating with your fam and enjoying your, your birthday? Mm -hmm. And then Sunday. Well, I was very, I mean, hold on. I said I was going to watch the fight for my birthday. And let me tell you something. Nothing made me more mad this weekend. Oh, because uh, you and I mean, I didn't see it. Marcos sent a text and said, uh, Francis and Gunn won. Yeah, he got completely effed. Really? He got completely effed. He definitely won that fight. It was yeah. ridiculous. Tyson Fury fought like a coward. Oh, he for did. Seven, he got knocked down in the third round. He got knocked down. Hood down. Left hook right on the side of the temple. Timber. And he fought like a coward the rest of that fight. And they gave him the split decision. It was garbage. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world in old Tobe's eyes, and it's Francis Ngannou. He is right now, just so we're clear, he is in my eyes the reigning UFC heavyweight champion, and he's the reigning boxing heavyweight champion. He has neither belt, but he is the champ. <laughs> make no mistake. He has neither belt. But make no mistake, <laughs> he is the champion of both because he beat Tyson Fury, and he did not lose his belt in the UFC. He walked away because they were cheapskates. And now, who's the big winner? Because this guy's going to make $100 million on his next fight. Francis Ngannou? Yes! Oh, once because he, he really put on the show? Dude, he was awesome. He's like, yeah, it was my first time. <laughs> Which is even more embarrassing. Now, look, Tyson Fury looked like he trained. Zero. He was 280 pounds, Tyson Fury, for this fight. He trained absolutely zero. And it looked like it. But that was his mistake. Because right. he was in there with the dude... Who's a freak? Right. Who's a freak? Right. And he thought he was gonna jab, 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 dance around him. And I think he outstruck Francis by like ten punches. Right. And they were all jabs that did nothing to him. Right. He got completely jobbed in that fight. Francis Ngannou is the heavyweight champion of the world, and Tyson Fury is not. Baddest man. Rematch? He's the baddest man on the planet. Rematch. Uh no, I don't think there is gonna be a rematch because he's got to go fight Usyk for the fake championship. No one wants to see that. Dude. It's a fake championship. I, the lineal champion in Tobin's eyes is Francis Ngannou. I'm sorry. Yep. Which is even more incredible because he would be the champion in two sports. He is the champion in two. No, what I'm telling you right now is I don't care what the Wikipedia says. He is champion in two sports. He knocked down and outboxed the best boxer. Yeah. On the planet outside of Terrence Crawford. So does he go get more uh, fights now? I don't know what he does. Because he, I mean, he could you, do, he could UFC's do, done, right? He could do whatever it, he wants. UFC's done, right? He's not going back to UFC. Right. Now, pay cut. Because he got, what did he, he probably get, what, 20, 30 million? Yeah. He's, pay right. cut. Why don't we go to the UFC? Could you imagine the UFC letting that guy walk? And what's their karma for it? You trusted John Jones to be your long-reigning heavyweight champion? Out after a fight. He didn't even fight. One, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't drugs, though. You know, I, just, I mean, yes, that's progress. I mean, but this. but but here, correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes an injury rears its ugly head due to the fact of drugs. That's definitely possible. Okay. We call that the J.J. Watt when the pec tendon tears <laughs> off. I believe that's happened to two Watt brothers. Yeah. Do with that what you will. Well, you already told us what to do with it. Like, <laughs> what we will, you've already predetermined. <laughs> like, like he throws. Marcos, did you see the fight? Yes, I saw the fight. You saw man. Francis. Yeah, one, he right? was the first. He was the first one sent the text. Yeah, one hundred percent, dude. I could when when I was on my couch. I was sitting with. I was spending time with my family. I was sitting with Mrs. Tobin. We were watching the fight together, and I like. I I I am. We embraced as it happened. I was like, oh. She goes, "What's wrong with you?" I'm like, "You don't know what just happened." Right. A guy who's never boxed just, not just knocked down the mother bleeping heavyweight champion of the world. Put him on the canvas. And he didn't want none the rest of that time. What is that yep. guy's head made out of? He's been getting pounded. It's amazing. Yeah. It, it Like to get, he's been knocked. I mean, his last four fights, he's probably been on the canvas. Seven times he's got to have the cure to CTE in his brain, something yeah. like that. It's it's crazy what it's, he's able to do. I mean, and yeah. it, we talk about guys that that are like he knew he lost too, by the way. Oh, like, yeah, he didn't, but like you could, like, you know how braggadocious Tyson Fury is. Yeah. It was the most humble I've ever he heard of him. He sings usually, yeah, he usually, usually sings he after he wins. He wanted no part of promoting the Usyk fight, he wanted to yeah. get out of there and run in shame. Yep, yeah, yeah. in shame. Lennox Lewis, 
shaming him on Twitter. Shame. He shaming him. Rightfully so. He said, he said, sharks don't let lions come in there and swim as good as them. Yep. I was like, damn, that's deep. <laughs> yeah, man. It was. There were so not, many things. I think things. that's what he tweeted. <laughs> Wait, I think that's what he tweeted. Wait, Wait Sarah, Marcos. Right? That's what he it said. sounds great, but it sounds like some crap Tober would say, right? And then totally mess it up. <laughs> no, that's that's so right. <laughs> that, that is so up your alley of butchering something. There it is. Here it is. Hold on. Don't <laughs> go. Go. How close were you, first of all? I had the line in the shark. <laughs> oh, okay. I knew that this way. Lennox Lewis. <laughs> is Lennox Lewis the last undisputed heavyweight champion? I think he is. Oh, I think he is. He said, the lion can't let the shark come into the jungle and nearly beat him. And Ganu's stock is up. Fury's stock is down in lackluster win for Fury. Hashtag Fury versus Ngannou. Damn. Uh, sounded a lot different than when you had a lion swimming in the ocean well it's a little honestly if, if anybody said it better it was me because how could a, <laughs> how could a shark come in the jungle it doesn't even make any sense have you yeah, seen sharknado on. what oh. it was just walking down the street it would make more Not sense if he said the 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 shark can't let the lion come into the ocean and swim as good as him that would make more sense first of all mm. stop trying to make sense of your dumb ass take that's deep. right you just try he try i love the way he says something dumb and then tries to backtrack and make it make sense to everybody, it doesn't. Neither one of them makes sense. We just listen to Lennox Lewis because what he said was accurate. Anyway, take a quick break. Those are our headlines brought to you by, us, by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Super Center. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know truck. Back up to this. Go. Thousand yards in eight games. Yep. You know what I hope? A this, thousand. This is the honest truth because I know what's going to happen and I'm giving you guys a heads up. I want him to do it in 16 games. Right? Oh, because of the whole... Who cares? I, I don't care. I, I, I know, but we're... You're going to complain I, about... I understand. You're going to be pissed off that they won't give him his flowers because they're going to say he played an extra game. Whatever. Right? I'm just telling you. I mean, he's uh, he's already done something that's never been done. <laughs> like it's yeah, in the history of he's a never, thousand yards in eight games. It's crazy. And that's wait. And then he had what do you have like a thirty yard game? Uh, these are his games this year. Let's let's bring up the old game log. Ty, Jalen Waddle, by the way, is, was awesome yesterday too. Best game of the season for him, easily. Yeah, easily. Um, he's killed the pitch, but that's always been a thing. Is that Tyreek Hill? You know, he's slowed up by Bill Belichick, and so yesterday. Not the case with his uh, eight catches for 112 yards. So his uh, season so far, Leroy, has gone 215 in week one, mm -hmm. 40 against the Patriots in Sunday Night Football, mm -hmm. 157 in the 70 burger, mm -hmm. 58 against the Bills, 181 against the Giants, 163 against Carolina, 88 against the Eagles, and 112 yesterday. So he had a 50-yard game. Which he had one stink, yeah. Like, well, yeah, that was a bad game for everybody. Um, and a thousand, he has a thousand yards, eight games, a thousand That's, yards. They, like, I can't, and he's already passed his touchdown total for last year, yeah, eight touchdowns, and they're still giving him single coverage. I tell you what, in one of the greatest offensive uh game plans you will ever see, how in the hell. Do you get Tyreek Hill single covered in an offense? Mm -hmm. Like, it's incredible. Because guess what? Everybody goes to the game going, we got to slow that dude down. Of course. Now, here's my thing. I used to run a lot of inside routes, and they used to try to double me with a safety and a linebacker, right? But it's it's very easy to beat simply because, like, they got two guys that don't know where you're going. And if you get past two guys, there's even more room. So you either run a hitch, you either run a crossing route, or you just straight up the field. The thing what they do with defensive backs, they try to stack the guy over top. Why that's ridiculous is because what do the Dolphins run? Crossing routes, square ends. So that guy over the top is useless anyway. So I don't know how you defend 
this offense when the methods that you use to double cover somebody are ineffective versus what the routes that the Dolphins run, either crossing routes, go routes, or whatever. It works great if all your guy does run a go route because you got a corner and then you put the safety over the top. But Tyreek's always running square ends. He's always running these. He's, he's also like he's the he's the guy. Like it's funny because usually like a guy who's that speedy isn't like your sure-handed guy you always go to right. on third and long. Right. Like I, he had he's like they they go to him fourth and one in the red zone. They're going to Tyreek Hill. Like they had a third in was it like a nine Marcos? You remember? And he has that great catch where he has to go up and get it. Like he's just he's he's incredible. It, it's it, yes every game. By the way, did anybody, did did people send that video to Stephen A. Smith? I just want to make sure. Oh, because that yeah. wasn't a two yard Deep. throw. I just want to make sure. Deep. Was he able to see with his his yeah. own eyes again yeah. to a hitting Tyree Kill for forty yards for touchdown? Stride. In fact, what was the stat I saw? Hold on one second. Let me find it. Marco, say something. Yeah, sure. So yesterday, Tyree Kill proved that he's better than Jerry Rice. You heard it here first. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Uh, this is from Brett Brashizen from the Dolphins PR department. The 42-yard touchdown pass from Tua to Cheetah marks the seventh time the two have connected on a 40-yard plus pass this season. Nobody in the NFL has more than three. Look at that. Double but it's only dink and dunk. I don't understand. How can Brett have this statistic? Wow. Lazy, Stephen A. Smith. Tyreek Hill called you lazy. Tyreek was right. <laughs> lazy. Was right. Twice as many as anybody else in the league. A thousand yards. A thousand yards in eight games. Mm. And he's got KC coming up this week. You know he's going to be feeling froggy. Statement game? I think he I think he's gonna score a long touchdown and pull out a broad. <laughs> Just started the sauerkraut mustard. Up. Maybe. I mean, he seems like he doesn't want to get fined anymore. He seems like he's or tired of that. He was saving it for this week. Or it was even more of a fine. Him running that fast to the bench. What if he just because that was even more of a celebration, right? What if instead of no socks this week, he just plays the game in Lederhosen? Wow. Still gonna be the best. You... No. Except he wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me show you this fraud here. What? First of all, <laughs> he used a German phrase. Mm -hmm. You don't know what Lederhosen does. I know what it does. No, you don't. Oh, no, oh, you don't. Oh, 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 I know it's the pants. It's the pants suspenders. I know this dude. Yeah. It sounded good. He has no idea. None. You want to know what he's going to be wearing? What? Cheetah hosen. <laughs> Point for no. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, no. Hey. Here's the kicker. I bet you can't even spell it to ask Google what it is. Go. Does it spell like a leader of soda? No, no. No, I, that's how I looked it up. It is not. Oh, it's with the D. Leader hosen. Now, <laughs> no. a lot easier than I thought it was. No. I'll tell you what, they're not no. cheap. No, no. So, so is, are we going to throw that to our dark board to do? I might just wear leader hosen this week. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you big schnitzel. It's a close set. <laughs> close set. <laughs> hey, so wait. No, here we go. So we already have, uh, you have to dress up like uh, on the dartboard of doom. The Irish, the Irish, uh, you know, the kilt and everything. Right? We got that. Lederhosen? Got to go on it. Right? Lederhosen can go on it. Because we're big with the Irish. Right? <laughs> Love the accent. Right? You know, I think, I think the Irish are big with us. I don't okay. know if we're big with the Irish. No, I'm just saying you. Nobody comes in here like a leprechaun more than you. <laughs> right. So that's got to be on the dartboard, right, Marcos? Yep. And now the Dolphins in Germany, baby. So we got to put it. We got to put Lederhosen on there. So good. Right. All right. We'll take a quick break. You guys can get us. By the way, we have a really cool giveaway today, Disney Ooh. fans. We've got your chance to win a four-pack hey. of tickets to Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park. Ooh. We will give that away during today's program. Uh, for more info on Blizzard Beach, go to Disney.com. Back with more after this.